Keep those hands forward. Yes, I want to stay a little droop in those reins. Or <laughs> rhythm that keeps him in balance. Keep your leg back and quiet, not kicking or shaking, and then count your rhythm. If we're wobbly or too fast, he's going to speed up. So hands forward and breathe. See if it helps, go one, two, three, breath. Six, seven, breath. One, two, three, breath. Five, six, seven, breath. Are you going to do that, Sophie? But, yeah. So last week I asked Fiona what did she notice different about the girls. And this week, I'm going to tell you what the girls noticed about not having Fiona. So Fiona was gone for a few months, like four months. And they noticed a long warm-up. <laughs> Sophie's like, oh my goodness, Finny be sweating before we even ride. Guys, higher out of your saddle and slower. Right now your booty is working so fast. He can't keep up to you. Give Sophie a bottle of water. See if she can rise really fast while drinking. Eat one of these before they freeze. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I like them hard. Does it feel better? This is how Sophie has a drink. <laughs> Breathe. So even though you're in two point, you can still be counting. One, two, three, four, breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. That leg is looking better. Wow, that was a really bad corner. Can I have a seat? Yeah. <laughs> Are you talking to me? And she turns way too late. Good use of your outside rate on that corner. Those reins look much better when they're droopy like that. Let them go. Elected trot. Nicely done, Sophia. I like that you're not grabbing his mouth. Notice that he's not inverting himself and trying to run away from you. He's breathing, he's thinking, he's processing. I, so I used to have plastic wine glasses and I would get um, plastic cat balls with bells in them and put them in the plastic wine glasses and then make them carry them and they weren't allowed to make any noise or lose their balls. I like to see them not lose their balls. So when the balls bounced out of the thing because they were shaking their hands too much or rattling around because they were shaking their hands too much, I could tell. So if they could keep them still and not make any noise or not lose their cat toys, then they knew that they had soft hands. Well, we should buy them. So that's the... That's the tell all if you have soft hands. Mm -hmm. You can separate your hands from your body. so Because you're... you want your hands to stay soft on their mouth. So when your body's doing a sit trot, your body still has to move with their body. But their head is fairly still at a trot. So you want to be able to keep your hands quiet and steady. Same when you're rising. No. Okay, circle him. Can we stay at that end for a minute? When you see him shaking his head up and down, can you feel him doing that? Yeah. Stay on your circle. Do you know why he's doing that? No. Okay. He's trying to tell you to get off of his mouth. Because every time you grab the reins of the bit, he yanks his head straight up in the air, just like that. Every time you touch it, he throws his head, throws his head, throws his head. He's trying to tell you that he just wants you to soften up your hand hold on him. He wants you to breathe and use your body. So look through your turn, use two hands to steer, not one. So right there, you were good and then you yanked him a little bit. Try it again. Think more with your outside rein. Your hands are in handcuffs, use both of them. She does this Better. thing where she puts his rein over his neck. Breathe, one, one thing at a time. Okay, sorry. So he's trying to go to Chino, right? Go deeper over here and breathe. You're staying on this circle. You're not using your end of the arena. You're making your circle smaller and smaller, so he thinks he's going to go over that pole. Go closer to the rope. There. Don't look over there. Keep looking in your turn. Ride right up to me. Look up. Breathe. Let your right rein up. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. No different than your trot. We need to find the ability to relax and find our canter. 
You're getting there, Sophie. <laughs> when you think, okay, so the spots you know that he's gonna scoot forward, big exhale like you're gonna walk. Oh, look at that! You fixed that corner instantly! Was it hard, was it? You just have to be <laughs> proactive, not reactive. She's like, I want one of those things that Gabby has that tells how my heart rate is going. Breathe. Soften the reins. Ride through your body. Keep telling him. Yes, tell him. If you listen to my seat and my breathing, I won't touch your face. Your only job with those reins is steering, not slowing down. Push him out here to me. Yeah, push him out. Push him out. Push him out. There. Look up. Breathe. Beautiful. Do that one more time and then you may walk. Push him out. Push him out. <clears throat> out, 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 out. Look up and breathe. Now loosen your reins and do it. Looser. Looser. Lift your hands up. Yes. Now push them forward. Look at those nice droopy reins. Good. Breathe. And walk. You may walk, Gabby. <laughs> it's like I'm going with Gabby. Yeah, going with Chino. To do the whole time. <laughs> Let's go with Chino. Let's go down there with Chino. <laughs> Very nice, he grabbed the wrong lead on you, but it was a good transition. Big breath. Good job, nice soft hand. You really followed through with his head there. He's not at, He's not throwing his head up because you're not grabbing him. He's, ah, bye. Staying on the rail. Sophie, you may walk. Super impressive. I'm staying with you and tell me when to move. I want you to think about what we worked on in the flat. We're not grabbing his face, right? All those same things need to come into play. I know jumping is a little bit scarier than cantering or trotting, so we automatically want to grab our horses. You got to fight that instinct. Good girl. Big breath, look up. Excellent job. Pardon? Circle or come at it if you're ready. Yeah, you made that corner nicely. Two, one. Beautiful, sit up, look. Look for your turn. Now coming out of this one, a big giant breath out. Two, one. Big breath out. Ha ha, beautiful control. Look. Nice transition. Big half hold. And release. Well done. Wow. That was so good. Okay, let him walk for one lap, and you're going to do it all again exactly just like that. We're thinking about the corners. Forget about the jumps and think about your ins and your outs. Look ahead, don't lean till he jumps. Wait, better. You can use your hands to reach up and grab. Try to pitch your lead. That's okay, get your balance together. Good girl. Remember not to grab his mouth though, right? Just like we did when we were cantering circles. Breathe. Let him be. Good girl, sit up and look for your next fence. Eyes up, where are you going? That's it. Look up past the fence and trot. Good job. Wait for him. Hands forward, but don't lean. Wait. Beautiful. Sophie, that was gorgeous. Go ahead and walk. That was your nicest fence. Nicest fence you have. And you can watch the video because your mom's got it. It's perfect. Go ahead and take him to the corner. Give him a big this pat. Little... Yeah, that's the hardest one. Is that why I was going to Chino? Going to Chino. That was scary. Can <laughs> we just get excited to go forward? For a circle, please. <laughs> Did you read a book in that, in that expression? <laughs> there was a whole story in that look. Oh yeah, there was a lot there. So, so right away, are we going to grab him with our hands? No. No, because that just makes him mad. I didn't know what Yeah, we're going to trot this circle until he calms down. Did he spook at the stroller? No, no, he's spicy. Yeah, he's kind of like on I'm Chino's butt. Oh, I'm ready to do my job. So Sophie's going to take that big breath. 
Sophie's going to imagine she's going to sleep. She's laying in her bed, relaxing after a nice warm tub, oh. hanging out with her dog, listening to music. But she does none of those. Pardon? Oh, oh. No, <laughs> she said she's laying in bed with her dog. It's kind of stressful. You just want to be relaxed. Put yourself in that position instead of this one because he just needs to feel that you're not excited too, right? There. Okay, let's go ahead and go around the arena and begin our course. Same thing. Nice and quiet. Soft hand. Remember, we're waiting for him to jump. The hand can go forward, but not the shoulder. We got ahead of him there. Did you feel that? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we stepped up onto his neck before he was ready to jump. Oh, eyes up on Chino. That's okay, we added a stride. He'll figure it out. That's a good idea. Get your balance, get your rhythm, get your canter. Quiet, look. Eyes on your jump, please. And you need to ride towards me. You need to get over into this corner. Good girl. And trot it. Good. Now again, waiting for him. Hands, but not shoulders. Whoop. Okay, so come back to our walk. How would you rate that on a scale of one to ten? Zero. I would have given you a three. So we were rushed. We just felt like he was like, uh, and you were kind of thinking, we gotta go, keep walking, or he's gonna do a little scooby thing again. You were kind of getting, I gotta get another jump, I got another jump, I gotta get to the next jump, gotta get to the next jump. We're gonna do it again, and this time, you are going to breathe. You are going to relax. You are going to be out on a nice, quiet beach, relaxing. No. Not, not galloping across it. All right, trotting on. That was our one. The Cavaletti towards your sister. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful trot. Let's see if we can keep it without grabbing him. You have an entire arena to think about being on the beach, relaxing in the sun. Bring your legs back, lift your hands up. We can't get over his shoulders when he jumps. It's his job to get over the fence. It's our job to stay on top. Breathe. Beautiful. Feel the difference? A little more connection there. Okay, pick the lead. Back to your canner. And quiet, soft hand. We're on that beach having that nap. Soft hand. One, two, three. Good girl. Sit up. Look at your next fence. Keep your eyes up where you want to go. Eyes on the prize. Stay off of his shoulders. Good girl. And trot. And wait, wait, wait. Good job. Ride that one again in a trot, please. Be careful where to go and how to get there, but then we have to follow his lead. Much better. Can you counter that once, please, before walking? Beautiful. One, two, three. Good girl! You know that you got left behind, but your hands never touched his mouth once. Not once. She got left behind, but... Well, got left behind, but your hands followed him right through the jump. He never pulled his head up. He never yanked because you went, I gotta give these away because I can't touch it. That was a huge thing for you. Did he do that thing where his head jumped out and his feet didn't? No. That's <laughs> so good, so. Don't you know that you're beautiful?